the morning. I'm in a profit of their shower this morning before we all head out. They're heading south, I'm heading west. I'm gonna make it halfway to Denver today is the plan. But uh, look, I brought some maple syrup to give to people who host me along the route. I don't know, I thought it was a kitschy little fun Canadian thing to do. Anyway, be on the road soon. Look at that sweet ass van. Oh, it's all like low, man. It's... So yeah, I know I haven't quite left Des Moines yet and then I haven't really been eating that healthy lately, but I had to go check out this burger spot. Apparently it's freaking spectacular. Um, Bebop's here in Des Moines. We're gonna grab ourselves a nice big greasy burger and I swear it'll be the last unhealthy thing I eat for a while. And I'll make like all kinds of videos about me being healthy, okay? Okay, deal, let's go do this. Champ, are you excited about eating this burger right now? Jeez. I'm pretty pumped. Alright. Big old burger. Some fries? Would you like a fry, sir? You may have a fry. This is so retro, so classic. A golden foam container. Because uh, Trump is now uh, president and everything must be gold. Oh. That's a big burger. Hey, do you mind? I'm trying to eat here. Oh yeah. That's a wholesome burger. So Maggie and Aaron were telling me that they like this burger better than In-N-Out. I can see it. Although it's got that Midwest thing where it's a little heavy on the mayo, but it's good. It's really good. No, it's growing on me. Champ, I'm going to try to share some of this with you, but I don't promise anything. It's my last unhealthy meal. You know, you understand. As a kid, I grew up watching The 70s Show. And to me, The 70s Show wasn't really a show about a bunch of kids in the 70s. It was, about, it was a show about a bunch of kids in the Midwest. And I've never been to the Midwest. It was my first time driving through it. And uh, it's just always resonating in the back of my head. Like, you know... Did Donna and Eric hang out over here? Like, and I feel like a burger joint like this, they probably did. Mm, it's good. Oh, right on my, why do you do that? He's got like aim and precision until it's like right above me. And he invariably knocks a bunch of mustard onto my shirt. This guy. Finally, fixing the uh, passenger seat that's been torn for a better part of a year. Figured, you know, now's a good time, as good time as any, and uh, I'll do that and then patch up a couple other things that I do and just sit here in a Walmart parking lot and just work for a bit and then continue driving. <laughs> Done. Look at that. It's got kind of a Frankenstein vibe to it, but you know, I like that. It, it kind of matches the rest of the van. Does it hurt the resale value? Who knows? I mean, it's better than torn, I suppose. But uh, I don't know. I like that about this camper. It's like I fix things, but I don't necessarily make them beautiful. They just, they're fixed. And I like to make them like sturdy because uh, otherwise I'm going to break it really quick. So off to the next chore.
heading to a campsite here in Nebraska. We're in Nebraska now. Um, I found this one on freecampsites.net. It is a wildlife management area, WMA, which means that it is dispersed camping, it's free camping, and it's first come, first serve camping. So uh, we'll see what it, what it actually looks like. You never really know with these. And uh, I mean, it's not looking like I'm going to get much cover because. Uh, it's super flat and there's like no trees out here, so we'll see what we get when we get there. This looks like free 14 day camping and we got a little pond and we're the only ones here. So we get a little pond to ourselves champ, isn't this exciting? He's pumped. Are you friggin' pumped buddy? So yeah, this is kind of the nice thing about the Midwest is, would you just calm down? Calm down. We're having a bit of a lover's quarrel right now where every time I stop the car, he freaks out and it's like, he doesn't know, he, he doesn't know. Like I could just be getting gas or like stop because I have to check my phone or something. He still freaks out every time. I mean, this time we're at a campsite, so it is worth getting excited for. But uh, there's actually, somebody left like a bunch of wood here to use. So I'm gonna chop up a little bit, have a tiny little campfire and I'm gonna make some dinner and just like enjoy nature, you know, cause I've been street camping or parking lot camping for the entire trip so far. So this would be nice. First. First taste of the Midwest nature. Exciting. Holy crap, what is your problem? What? We're at a Walmart, just chill out. It's like a parking lot. You know, there's no other dogs. There's no, there's definitely no water here. You can't go swimming here for sure. It's gonna suck so much. It's gonna suck so much. It's gonna suck, you're gonna hate it. Just kidding. Oh, you got a pond. Yeah. This is the best. Right into the water. Yeah, that took two seconds. Excuse me, sir. You seem to be quite moist. There's no moist puppies in the bed. So you're gonna have to dry off at some point. Were you, were you thirsty? <laughs> like everybody to note that the water bowl for the dog in the van is full. But uh, yeah, apparently he's gonna drink out of a lake today. Look at that, look at all this wood. Isn't that great? Awesome. I'm gonna make up a little fire. Fire's going, champ's rolling around in the muck and dirt, getting dirty, Dan's parked up. I absolutely love traveling off season because you get places like this that are just spectacular, completely to yourself. Like, I'm the only one here. It's nuts. All the garbage I cleaned out of the campsite. Not, uh, not the worst I've seen, but uh, yeah. You know, feels good to be able to pick all this up, pack it up and take it out with me. So, do my little part as a thank you for how awesome this campsite is. Stop it, get back here. That's my firewood. Don't take my firewood. What are you doing? I need that firewood for the fire. No, not for puppies. No, it's not. Champ, just, just, give, just, give, just give, give me the, give, just give it to me. Oh, we're gonna put it, we're gonna, sorry. But you know, you got, no, no, it's don't, it's for the fire. Champ, it's for the fire. No, God, no. No, it's for the fire. Champ, what are you doing? You dick. Tofu butter, butter tofu, like butter chicken, but with tofu and uh, the last of the pushish. Uh, you know, can't eat burgers for every meal. All right, I'm starting to figure this out. The key to getting this just right 
is to make the tofu nice and crispy on the outside because it's going to be very soft on the inside anyway. Get it really crispy, like really crispy so that when you put the sauce on it doesn't mush up. And then you take the um, chickpeas and you brown them to the, co to the corner of like almost blackening them. You just want them like really crispy. About like, I want them to have some smokiness to them. And then once you get the sauce in there and everything else, they stand out nicely. It's perfect. Just a little spicy, a little tomato underground. Mmm. That's exactly what I needed.